Just even got himself a new truck for his birthday. His old one was 20 years old, so it lasted quite a while. This new truck is really awesome. It rides so smoothly and it's an automatic instead of a stick, which means that in case of an emergency, I can actually get Steven to a hospital, which is always a plus. Also, look at this. I don't know if you guys see this. Look, I, I, don't, I didn't know seatbelts do this now, but see that? It locks if it's like gonna be a really quick hard jam, but you're not strapped in normally like you would with the old seat belts where it automatically locks and you're put in place. That's cool. It is weird to have that much freedom though while sitting in a seat belt. Anyway, we're off to Padden Lake or Lake Padden. <laughs> <laughs> well, it works. The <laughs> seatbelt works. <laughs> uh, he went for the, the clutch and hit a brake instead. <laughs> uh, but we are headed to Lake Patton. It is, what, it's almost a three mile hike? Yeah, yeah it's like 2.8 miles. It's 10 a.m. Should be a few hours. It's gonna get up to 80, so we're trying to hit it before it gets too hot. All right, on to Lake Patton. Welcome to Lake Patton, a hidden gem nestled in the heart of Bellingham, Washington. Whether you're a local or just passing through, this serene spot offers a little something for everyone. The 2.6 mile loop trail around the lake is perfect for a leisurely walk, a morning run, or a bike ride. Surrounded by lush greenery, this mostly flat trail invites visitors of all fitness levels to enjoy the natural beauty of the Pacific Northwest. You'll encounter peaceful sounds of nature, Ducks and geese glide across the calm waters, and if you're lucky, you might even spot a heron standing by the shore. Lake Patton's tranquil waters are ideal for kayaking, paddle boarding, or a relaxing day of fishing. Whether you're new to these activities or an experienced enthusiast, the gentle waters provide a perfect setting for making memories on a sunny afternoon. For those who prefer to stay on land, Lake Patton offers plenty of spaces to relax. The park is dotted with picnic areas, playgrounds, and open fields where you can throw a frisbee, have a picnic, or simply bask in the sun. But beyond its natural beauty, Lake Patton holds a rich and at times somber history. Long before settlers arrived, this land was sacred to the Lumi Nation, the original inhabitants of the region. Known as the Salmon People, the Lumi lived in harmony with these lands and waters for thousands of years. Lake Patton was a site of deep cultural significance, a place for contemplation, and connection with nature and their ancestors. The arrival of settlers marked a turning point. In 1870, Michael Patton, a settler who moved to the area to operate the Bellingham Bay Coal Mine, came across this lake, which he would later be credited with discovering. However, it's important to recognize that Lake Patton had long been known to and revered by the Lumi people before Patton's arrival. On March 6, 1880, Michael Patton's life was tragically cut short when a land dispute with a neighbor turned deadly. The dispute arose over a resurveyed property line, which had favored Patton. In the confrontation, Patton was fatally shot by 10-year-old Thomas Clark Jr. at the urging of his mother, Susan Clark. The incident shocked the community, leading to Mrs. Clark and her son's arrest and trial. Mrs. Clark was convicted of manslaughter and sentenced to five years in prison, where she tragically took her own life six months after the shooting. The boy, initially found guilty of manslaughter, was granted a new trial and released in 1881, with his youth influencing the court's decision. In 1889, another settler, Will D. Jenkins, had ambitious plans to develop the lake's southwest shore into a community called Highland Glen. The lots were scheduled to go on sale on June 1st, 1889, but it's intriguing to think about what became of this proposal. Did it ever materialize, or did it just fade into history? After Patton's death, his heirs generously donated the water rights to the town of Fairhaven. By 1890, water pipes were laid from the lake to Fairhaven by the Fairhaven Water and Power Company. In 1925, the city purchased Lake Patton and the surrounding area for $165,000. This resource remained South Bellingham's primary water source until 1968, when the city's growth necessitated a change where the South Bellingham water supply was switched from Lake Patton to Lake Whatcom. Despite its turbulent history, Lake Patton has since become a cherished spot for recreation and reflection. Today, Lake Patton is a sanctuary of peace and natural beauty, 
with over 745 acres of woods, trails, and recreational spaces. It offers something for everyone. From hiking and boating to picnicking and wildlife watching, Lake Padden Park is a beloved destination for locals and visitors alike. Lake Padden is more than just a park, it's a testament to the area's rich history and a vibrant community resource that continues to offer a little piece of paradise in Bellingham's backyard. And with that, I hope you guys enjoy some of this hike. Give me that. Oh. Oh my God, that's sour. Oh. I'm gonna be right. Ooh. You can't, if, if it doesn't fall off in your hand, it's not right. Uh, apparently, you have to tease it, and if it falls in your hand, it's ripe. So, I'll keep a lookout on one that looks ripe. I thought that looked ripe. It was not. time locating our truck except for look at this why are there lights I can only imagine that people are gonna drive really carefully around us because it looks like a cop car 